Tagalog language the Wikipedia world. This time we're going to talk about nominal compounds in terms of Tagalog language. Nominal compound is a compound that functions as a nominal. Tagalog nominal compounds differ from the derived noun formations dealt with previous videos in several ways. First, the components or nominal compounds are capable of occurring independently as distinct words while at least one component of a derived noun is a prefix or a suffix that occurs only in a complex formation. Thus, while both the components of the nominal compounds like bagoong balayan, pickled fish from balayan, may occur as independent words only on the second component of the derived noun tagabalayan or person from balayan may do so. Second, nominal compounds also differ from derived nouns in that they involve the device of linking. Linking is the connecting of the elements of a word or construction by means of a special connecting element or a linker. The linker has at its sole function the indication of a relation between the elements it connects and has no meaning apart from the indication of this relation. Linking is a characteristic device of Tagalog grammar and occur in a number of constructions apart from compounds. Tagalog has two important linkers. We have the nang and na or na. Note the following examples of nominal compounds whose first elements in their independent forms ends in H, vocal stop, and N. We have here mata, mata, ice, plus na, plus lawi. So we have lawi for the hawk. We have matang lawi, or ice like a hawk, or king ice. Muso, muso, upper lip, plus nang, baboy, baboy, which is pig, musong baboy. Upper lip like a pig's or broad pudding upper lip. We have here nipping, nipping, tooth or teeth plus nang plus aso. Aso, which is dog, is equal to nipping aso or it like a dog's or sharp teeth. The zero forms of the linker nang occurs if the first link element ends in any consonant other than H. Go to stop or end. In effect, the resultant formation consists merely of the two linked elements in their independent forms. But a zero form of a linker rather than the absence of a linker is positioned based of the otherwise perfect parallelism with formations involving the replacement of H, go to stop or end by na. Thus, for example, silid kainan, silid kainan, dining room, and mesang kainan, mesang kainan, dining table, are obviously similar compound. Formations, although the first whose components are silid, room, and kainan, eating place, involves no overt liquor, while the second whose components are mesa, table, and kainan, and thus. Some other examples of compounds involving the zero form of the linker nang are isi, isi, mine, plus nang, lamok, lamok, mosquito, isi, lamok, mind like a mosquito, or weak mind, bosses, bosses, voice, plus nang, ipis, ipis, cockroach, bosses, ipis, voice like a cockroach, Weak voice. Lakad. Lakad. Walk. Plus na. Plus pagong. Turtle. Lakad pagong. Walk like a turtle. Slow walk. Just as nominal compounds differ in several ways, 
from derived nouns, so also do they differ in several ways. One of these ways is that modification constructions involve the linker na or na rather than the linker na. The linker na or na has the form na after the consonant other than H, global stop, or N. Therefore, when the first element of a modification construction ends in a consonant other than H, global stop, or N, there is an overt difference between it and an otherwise identical nominal compound. Compare, for example, the modification construction anak ng mayaman, anak ng mayaman, which child, and the nominal compound anak mayaman, anak mayaman, person burned to wealth. The components of the modification construction and those of the compound anak, child, and mayaman, rich, are the same, but the resultant formations are differentiated by the presence of na in the first, its absence in the second. When the first element of a modification construction ends, in its independent form, in H, global stop, or N, there is no overt difference between the modification construction and a compound with the same components. For the linker na or nang and the linker nang both have the same phonemic realization in such cases and the replacement of the final consonant by na. Thus, the modification construction barong par pamparty, barong pamparty or dress worn at a party, and the nominal compound barong pambati, party dress are homophonous. The elements in both cases are baro, dress, and pamparty, used for word. Nominal compounds, then, are not always distinguishable from modification constructions on the basis of form. There are, however, a number of other ways in which the two may be distinguished. For example, the elements of a modification construction may be separated from one another by a certain structure's possessive pronoun, while those of a nominal compound are inseparable. Thus, baro mong pamparti, your dress worn at a party, but baro pamparti mo, your party dressed. Also, the order, order of the elements within nominal compounds is fixed, while that in the modification constructions is in general reversible. Thus, the modification construction, barong pamparty, is matched by a construction of identical meaning, but reverse word order, pamparting baro, dress worn at a party, but there is no nominal compound pamparting baro. Another and very important difference between nominal compounds and modification constructions lies in the semantic relation that obtained between the two late elements and the semantic relation between these elements and the resultant formation. The semantic relation that obtains between elements linked with a simple modification construction, a two-component modification construction, is essentially the same for all such constructions. This is because one of the components of a simple modification construction always corresponds to the predicate of a basic sentence and the order to its stop. And since the relation between the predicate and the topic is always essentially an equational one, so is the relation between the elements of the simple modification construction. Thus, in a modification construction like anak ng mayaman or mayamang anak, which child, mayaman, which, is equated or identified with anak, child, just as it is in the corresponding basic sentence, mayaman ang anak, the child is rich. The element of a nominal compound, on the other hand, while they in some cases stand in an equational relation to one another, may also stand in one of a number of other kinds of semantic relations. Thus, the semantic relation implicit in the compound Anak mayaman, person born to wealth, is a possessive one, child of the rich, 
as is that in the compound matanglawin or thin ice, ice like a hawk, the semantic relation implicit in the compound tubig ulan, rain water, is that of object to source water tubig from rain ulan, as is that in sukang iloko or vinegar from the ilocos, and so on. So that is the first part of nominal compounds. So take a look for the second part of nominal compounds. So thank you once again for listening at Wikipedia World.